It is no freaking secret that if you want to create a strong personal brand, you need to be showing up consistently online. Well, there's a lot of information out there on what type of content to create, but we very rarely talk about how you can show up consistently for your audience. And I can't stress enough how important this is. If you currently have no content strategy and you're showing up periodically, if at all, then this video is going to support you with my four tools that I use to create consistent content. If you're needing some branding and business advice every single week, I'm coming at you with a brand new video every Monday as part of my new series, Mondays with Michelle. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button so you don't miss a single thing. Hey there, welcome back. I'm Michelle Knight of BrandMary.com. I'm a branding and a business mentor for female entrepreneurs who are wanting to create an authentic and profitable brand through the power of story. I absolutely love content creation and that's what we're talking about today because I really don't think that you can have a strong social media presence. I don't think that you can create a strong bond with your community if you aren't consistently showing up for them, not to mention when you are showing up and delivering amazing content, you are positioning yourself as the expert that you are. Therefore, they know what you offer, why you will be great for them, and they want to take advantage of the product or the service that you're laying out for them on the table. If you aren't showing up for them regularly, how do they know who you are? And therefore, they probably don't trust you. So a really strong content strategy is needed to build trust with your audience. One of my favorite quotes, you'll probably hear me say it in a about a hundred different videos is from Zig Ziglar. And he says, if they like you, they will listen to you. If they trust you, they will do business with you. Consistent content is one of the key pieces that you need to build trust with your audience. And while I could do a million videos on content creation, in fact, if you want videos on content creation and more videos on content strategy, just let me know in the comments below by typing content, please, then I will make you more videos. But today, I just want to focus on four tools that will help you create consistent content in your business. Number one, organization. All right. I'm a Virgo. <laughs> I get it. We're not all amazing at organization and planning and strategizing and all of that, but I'm telling you, if you are flying by the seat of your pants when it comes to content creation, you're going to keep struggling uphill and not in a good way way. It's always going to feel like you can't come up with content ideas and you're going to be stressed out in the moment and writing emails is going to take like an hour as opposed to eight minutes because you do not have a clear plan in place. Now, I'm a big fan of using a content planner and there's a lot of word on the street that planning out your content isn't great because you cannot be inspired. And I say, no, wrong. I do not believe that. And here is why. When you have a clear plan of when you are showing up for your audience, where you are showing up for your audience, and if you already know the topic, fantastic, pencil that in there too, then guess what? You're less stressed, you're less overwhelmed, and it allows for inspiration to come more easily. Here's the beautiful thing about a content calendar. You are in control of your content calendar, so you can move things around as inspiration strikes, but there's not going to be any room for inspiration if you're constantly stressed out about what you're going to say to your community and how you're going to show up. So creating a content calendar, having that clear organization really is key to a strong content strategy and therefore a strong personal brand. One of my favorite ways to organize content is using my signature brand containers. Now you might be like, what's that, Michelle? So I made you a free gift. I have a free downloadable content planner for you, which includes a training video on the core brand container strategy that I use. It shows you how to use that to create content, how to organize content, and I've created let me just say, a very, very cool content planner for you. You can get your hands on that with the link below or by going to brandmary.com slash content creation. So the first thing you have to do, again, is organize your content, have a very clear idea of what you want to say to your audience, when you're going to say it, and where you're going to be showing up to relieve that stress and that constant overwhelm of, oh my gosh, what am I doing today? The second tool that you need to have as an online entrepreneur is some sort of scheduler. So this is where you would input your content and it would push 
push it out onto your social media platforms. Now, I also understand there's a lot of, oh my gosh, your schedulers work. Do they not work? Oh my gosh, does it not give me the biggest reach? But here's the thing. If you're currently not showing up at all, or you're showing up so sporadically that your audience has no idea who you are, then your reach kind of sucks anyway. So you need to be using a scheduler, especially in the beginning, to get yourself into that routine to regularly show up for your audience and build trust. And then later on, if you notice your reach isn't as great or whatever, you can stop using the scheduler if you want. But I'm telling you, if you are starting out in your business, and even today, I still use schedulers in my business and my reach pretty good, it saves my butt time and time again. So my favorite scheduler for this is actually Smarter Q. We're gonna go ahead and link it in the comments below. I love Smarter Q for a few reasons. It allows me to post content on multiple platforms. I particularly use it for my Facebook page and my various Facebook groups, my free one and my paid one, to actually evergreen content. So I can create monthly posts that recycle in each of these groups. So while there are a ton of schedulers out there, I personally I personally love SmarterQ because of the evergreen option. And so if I have a really great piece of content, I love to extend the life of it. So why not have a scheduler that does that for me? And SmarterQ is my top pick. At the end of the day, you just need to choose one. There are a ton of options out there. Play with them a little bit. Get started with one and start scheduling your content so you're showing up consistently for your audience. Number three, Canva. Can we can we get an amen for Canva? Can we just for a second think about what it was like before Canva and how hard it was? <laughs> I love Canva. I remember one of the very first blog posts I wrote was all about Canva because it was like all the only thing I knew how to do in my business at the time. I love Canva for book purposes. Here's the thing. Creating content needs to have a visual component to it. It's just gonna make it stand out even better than if you were just to post something blah, that just like everyone wants to scroll through. So having some sort of visual component that grabs the attention of your audience and then keeping them really engaged with the actual content is key. Canva is going to be your best friend. There is both a free option and a paid option, so you can take your pick. I use the paid option because it allows me to seamlessly create branded content, which is so important for me in my business. But y'all, most of my clients use the free version. Here's why Canva is so cool. You can create templates for all your different pieces. And I'm such a big fan of bulk scheduling, which is why we just talked about a scheduler as tip number two. But bulk scheduling allows you to sit down for a chunk of time, get in your zone of genius, write out your content, create your graphics and schedule. So the rest of the week you can focus on building relationships and nurturing that audience, not coming up with the content, scheduling it and trying to do all of that while running a business. So I love Canva because as I'm creating my content, I can go into Canva, find my favorite templates because they have them all laid out for you, customize them and add them to my scheduler. It is so very cool. If you are not using Canva now, I highly, highly recommend that you check them out. Again, there's a link below, totally free, not even affiliated, just basically obsessed. Number four, here we are. This is my strategy. This is my number one tool, number one trick, number one everything for how I have been able to create a six-figure business based on the fact that I show up for my community, the fact that I create content regularly that they want to consume and it's about bulk scheduling. If you struggle with creativity, if you struggle with getting your head in that space, into that zone where you can write and create that beautiful copy that resonates with your audience, you need to embrace bulk scheduling. Bulk scheduling was a game changer for me at the beginning of my business because I had no other choice. While working a nine to five, having a new baby, and trying to build this business from scratch, I didn't have a ton of time to actually create content, but I knew how important it was. So along with a scheduler and the use of Canva, and obviously the organization tool that I made for you for free below, I used bulk scheduling to my advantage. Back in the olden days, I used to bulk schedule on Sundays. I would carve out three hours of time on a Sunday. I would sit down, I would write out all my content, design it and schedule it. And now I actually do that on Mondays. Mondays are my content days. You all know it as Mondays with Michelle. My family knows it as Mondays without Michelle because I'm writing content. 
Bulk scheduling will save your butt time and time again. Get into the habit of blocking out time in your schedule. You can do this whether you work a nine to five, have children, or a full-time entrepreneur, it does not matter. If you can make it the same time every week, even better, because it'll get your brain kind of in that routine of, ooh, tomorrow's content day, I gotta be on my A game to write amazing content for my community. But even if you just do it one time, any day of the week, it's going to make a huge difference. These four tools are so basic. They're so easy to start implementing in your business, and I highly recommend you start tomorrow. Creating content is a non-negotiable if you want to create a strong personal brand and therefore a profitable brand through your business. Don't forget to grab your lifesaver tool, the free content planner and my training video on brand containers. You can get that in the description below. Again, totally free, my gift to you. Go ahead and grab it. Over 700 entrepreneurs have already gotten their hands on it, so <laughs> you're missing out if you don't take advantage of it. That's all I'm saying. Don't forget to subscribe. Be sure to check back every Monday for brand new episodes as part of Mondays with Michelle. And I want to hear from you. Which of these four tools are you going to start implementing today in your business? Leave me a comment below. As always, if you like this video, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe, comment, share it with your friends. I love you. I so appreciate you. I'll be back next week with a new video.